The Emperor has made a critical error and the time for our attack has come. The data brought to us by the Botham spies pinpoint the exact location of the Emperor's new battle station. We also know that the weapon systems of this Death Star are not yet operational. With the Imperial fleet spread throughout the galaxy in a vain effort to engage us, it is relatively unprotected. But most important of all, We've learned that the Emperor himself is personally overseeing the final stages of the construction of his Death Star. Many Bothans died to bring us this information. Admiral Akbar, please. Hello there, all my fellow YouTubers and uh, toy geeks out there. I, uh, today, well, as you saw from the little bit of intro that I had there, I want to talk Admiral Akbar today. Um, I told you before that I'd love to do some comparison videos, and this is going to be the first one where I compare the vintage Admiral Akbar to the new 2000X whatever uh, Admiral Akbar, the uh, super articulated one from the more recent Hasbro line. And, uh,. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm also going to show you my autographed picture, and uh, we'll just get right to it, you know. I'm John, your host of the Super Awesome Geek Show, and we're going to talk Admiral Akbar today. Let's move over to the cool stuff and uh, stop looking at me, you know. <laughs> All right, here we go. My Admiral Akbar collection. Oh, uh, well, some of the things I want to show off to you. I wish I had an Admiral Akbar mask in hands, like uh, some people I know. <laughs> but I have um, some of the next best things. I have the vintage loose figure. And this is actually one that I have owned since I was a child with that same weapon that I've owned since I was a child. Somehow I was one of those freaky kids who kept all the weapons. Don't ask me how, but I did. All my G.I. Joe, all my Transformers, all my Star Wars guys somehow managed to keep all their accessories. Um, play sets and vehicles I beat the crap out of and lost everything on, but somehow the characters themselves I managed to keep everything. So I love showing off some of the stuff that I've had since I was a child, things that I actually played with as a kid. And, uh, um, and what I want to do today is a comparison video. You know, show you a couple of the other things that I have, a packaged one, the signed photo, and then compare the vintage to the uh, more modern 2000X Admiral Akbar. Because the new one looks pretty darn cool, if you ask me. And I can't wait for them to make a 6-inch Black Series one. I mean, I'm going to grab him instantly as soon as there is one available. So Hasbro, get on it. So here we go. Vintage carded, unpunched if you notice, number 70310. Admiral Akbar from Kenner, Return of the Jedi. He's got a cool little teal blue background on his uh, packaging and along his name bar. A great shot of him in Home One. Wasn't he? Uh, wasn't that what they called the ship that he was on? Home base there, Home One. Home leader, wasn't he? Didn't he say that a few times in the movie? Unfortunately, my bubble is starting to yellow just a little bit. Let me see if I can get you a close up on the figure itself here. little bit of a closer view on how he is in the package. His stick here was taped to the side, but unfortunately on mine the tape has come off and you can kind of see it rattling around there <laughs> in the packaging. But that's okay with me. I'm fine. I mean, it's it's there, right? The bubble's intact. Everything looks good. Just slightly yellowing. I wish these things didn't yellow, but such is as it is, right? I love that he still has a price sticker on him. Ages four and up, you know. 
good thing by the time this guy came out I was over four years old so I could play with him. You know, otherwise I would have swallowed his head, right? I mean, that's what crazy little kids do. It looks like it says H A N A something K. I have no idea what that store was. Three dollars and seventy five cents. Seems like a lot for a Star Wars figure that back then, huh? Back of the packaging. Star Wars action figures, collect all 65 written across the top. It's really cool, this one has the blacked out figures because it was a secret who these guys were. They didn't want them revealed before Return of the Jedi was in theaters. So that was their way of letting the, you know, putting out some action figures for Return of the Jedi, but not letting people know who exactly they were or what they looked like these new this new race that was going to be something special in the movie you know and let's see it says that those were number 9 and number 10 and let's see how good they did yeah it says low gray ewok medicine man and chief chirpa so they did give away the name ewok <laughs> and then admiral akbar was figure number 11 there some of the accessories they show. Look for these new toys from Star Wars Return of the Jedi Collection in your favorite stores. The Chewbacca Bandolier Strap, which I did have when I was a kid. Um, I believe I sold it a few years ago because the foam and all the stuff that... There was like foam holding the figures in it and it had almost completely disintegrated. And someone offered just to take it off my hands for a decent price, so I, I, I let it go figuring that someday I'd find an, another one in better shape, right? But I haven't got around to it. The Y-Wing Fighter, uh, that is something I also own. You may have seen it in one of the videos in my cabinet there. Um, yeah, I could do a review on that someday. And the C-3PO Collector's Case. Uh, they had a Darth Vader Collector Case, and then with Return of the Jedi, they came out with the C-3PO one that was metalized in gold. I keep all my... Uh, good guy figures in the C-3PO one and I've got two or three Darth Vader cases that I keep all the bad guys and aliens and other figures. More, some of the modern ones are in there too that are not on display. The typical General Mills Star Wars action figure proof of purchase you could send in as a mail, you know, if there were any mail aways going on. Speaking of mail aways, Admiral Akbar was a, at first a mail away figure. Um, I think he was the first Return of the Jedi figure that was offered as a mail away or actually offered in general and I do have something special to show you about that uh, offer so give me a second here to switch this out here he is one of the mintest the absolute most mint action figure carded action figure from Star Wars that I own is the Empire Strikes Back Stormtrooper um, this card has only maybe one or two flaws on it. I got this maybe 25, 30 years ago, and it's been in my collection ever since. And, I mean, I just... He's one of my favorites. Next to my 12-back Darth Vader, this is one of my favorites just because of how good this card looks on the front and back. And he has the Revenge of the Jedi logo Figure with six proofs of purchase, see details on back to get Admiral Akbar. And I'll show you the back. Well, let me zoom in on that so you just got a good look at that. So there you go, free revenge of the Jedi figure. And then I'll flip the card around and you can see the special offer that's on the back of this one. Special offer, free Admiral Akbar figure from Star Wars Revenge of the Jedi with six proofs of purchases. And this one had a black one on the back instead of the standard blue and white. Now, get a free action figure from the next chapter of Star Wars Saga Revenge of the Jedi, premiering in May 1983. Just imagine how excited you would have been back then if you had seen this. You know, you're like... Holy cow, a new movie, and here's a new figure, and who is Admiral Ekbar? I've just got to know. Mom, let's buy six of these so I can send them in. That was probably me. 
Just purchase six Star Wars action figures, send in the six proofs of purchase seals with your name, address, to the address below, Revenge of the Jedi figure offer, P.O. Box 909, Young America, Minnesota. You know, back in the day, everything was in Young America, Minnesota when you send in stuff. The offer expired in January 31st, 1983, the day after my birthday. I was born January 30th, 1973, so this is exactly 10 years after my birthday, and I could have got Admiral Akbar. Allowed 10 to 12 weeks for processing. Those things back then, 10 to 12 weeks to a kid, was in eternity. You know, you'd mail the thing in, and immediately, like, three days later, go, has it been 12 weeks yet? And you'd start looking into the, uh, the mailbox every day. You'd come home from school. It's got to be in there. It's got to be in there. It's got to be in there. And then just when you finally had given up all hope and thought everything was lost, somehow they didn't get your proofs of purchases, you're crying up in your room, your mom comes upstairs and goes, look what was in the mail today, your Admiral Akbar. <laughs> Good. Uh, the offer was good only in the USA, and offer void prohibited, or offer was void where prohibited, taxed, or otherwise regulated. Boy, I would have hated to live in one of those countries where everything was regulated and you couldn't get your Admiral Akbar from Revenge of the Jedi. And I'm sure you want to see the back of that card just because it's such a cool thing. Um, so I'll just kind of lean the thing up and you can see that. Star Wars action figures collect all 48. All right, let's get back to Admiral Akbar. All right, so here are the two Admiral Akbars. The vintage from 1983 and the 2000X version, I'm going to just say, which I think is really cool, super articulated. So we'll like, bring him up a little bit here first. Admiral Akbar was a standard 5 POA figure, meaning 5 points of articulation. He bent at the hips there, both legs, you know his... Uh, hip joints, whatever you want to call them. Shoulders moved. And he came with a little, like, pointing staff thing so that he could point at the, you know, Death Star hologram. He could be like, You can see here the Death Star. Here we go. You can see here the Death Star orbiting the forest moon of Endor. He's got a nice head sculpt. I really think of a, of a lot of the Kenner figures, this guy had a really good head sculpt. I love his eyes. For some reason I just like the back of his head and how it's that weird bulbous pointy whatever blob thing. His mouth and nose kind of go up above his eyes. Almost like that guy in The Last Starfighter, that alien that was tracking him. But, you know, not, not, not quite that pronounced, you know. He's got like these little round pocket things on the side of his body there. You can see that. Nice yellow stripe down his back, down his pants and side. Some pretty good detail in this figure. You know, he's got two color clothing, a white within a then a tan kind of vest and suit there. Sort, you know, looking a lot like the movie. Very, very close to the film. So Kenner did a wonderful job with this guy. And now we'll look at the Hasbro version, more recent one. This one had a lot more articulation. His knees bend. They twist. His feet swivel and move up and down. He also has the little pointer staff so that he can say, This here is the Death Star. 
orbiting the first moon of Endor. You can see here. <laughs> I said that wrong, didn't I? You can see here the Death Star orbiting the forest moon of Ender. <laughs> it is protected by an energy shield. <laughs> he always choked, right? He just really needed some water, I think, during that scene. You know, Mon Mothma just threw him out there, and he did, you know, he no, he didn't even have a glass of water. And he's from, um, I think they call him an. He's a Mon Calamari, you know, he's from Aqualish, right? Isn't, isn't that... No, Aqualish were the uh, Walrus Men guys, weren't they? Sorry about that. Mon Calamari came from Mon Calamari, the, the planet. Yeah, I, I think that's what it was, yeah. And uh, they also lived with the core and the Squid Head guy. They supposedly lived under the water. And the Mon Calamari lived above land but could also go underwater. They were, they were both aquatic species. Well, I guess Squidhead could come out of the water, too, because he was in Jabba's palace. So both of them lived underwater and on land. But he sure could have used a glass of water during that briefing in, in Return of the Jedi. That, you know, just in my opinion. I think Mon Mothma dropped the ball there. I mean, he was choking a lot, don't you think? He's got a really cool belt. It almost seems separate, but it, it's it, I think it's molded in with this... Uh, his vest almost seems separate from him. In contrast to this one, he's got actually his, his uh, Admiral's insignia there. A lot of good paint detail on the arms and the head, more so than the original. He's got all the black little spots and various other uh, blemishes and things, if you want to call them, that were on Mon Calamari. His eyeballs look great. They stick out almost like stalks. His nose and mouth has a lot more detail, bends at the elbow, twists, his, his wrist twist, the uh, arms go up and down, they move forward and all the way around. And then he also comes with this nice little control computer panel pad thingy, maybe even binoculars, I, I don't know what it is, it's some kind of computer pad or some such, right? But, uh... I have these guys side by side, kind of like that in my display case, because I really like displaying certain figures, the both new and old, just so that everyone who comes over and wants to peer through my glass cases can see the comparison between new and old. And now let me bring you the uh, signed photo, a little bit of details on that. So I had the very fortunate pleasure of going down to Anaheim, California this year in April of 2015 for Star Wars Celebration 7. And Tim Rose was there. The guy who played Admiral Ackbar and did his voice. Along with a number of other things in Star Wars. Tim Rose has been probably four or five different characters, I believe. He was very nice to assign it to John. It's a trap. And uh, I chose, again, the picture that he is in um, Home One, right? In the, in the ship during the attack on the Death Star. And uh, actually, there's that little computer or whatever thingy that was in, his, in the action figure's hand right there in the picture. So that's pretty cool with the little wire coming off. Interesting. Maybe now I know what that is. <laughs> or at least that, you know, it's a real accessory of his. It almost looks like that wire clips into his Admiral insignia. Maybe it's some kind of communication device. Does anyone out there know? What is that device that's on that, that comes with the figure? Does anyone out there know? That's my question. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you know the answer to that. Well, there you have it, guys. My Admiral Akbar collection. Some of it, anyway, you know. And comparison, new 2000X to Kenner 1983. Hope you enjoyed that. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go to superawesomegeekshow.com. 
Check us out on iTunes. Just find Super Awesome Geek Show. That's our podcast. And I'll be bringing you more videos, more podcast episodes. And uh, we're really going to ramp it up this, uh, this winter, this fall and winter. We got, we got a plan in motion for the Super Awesome Geek Show. To uh, Our goal is to make it one of the best in Seattle as far as a general geek show. So stick with us and check out some of the changes that are coming down the road. And we have a lot of guests that I've been talking to recently trying to nail down some times when we can get together and record. And some of those guests you will not believe. I won't say their names just now because I want to make sure everything gets nailed down. But uh, there's some pretty big name guys. Big names for us coming down the road on that podcast. So stay tuned to the Super Awesome Geek Show podcast on iTunes or on superawesomegeekshow.com. And again, I'm John, your host. And please tweet with me on, on uh, Twitter at Awesome Geek Show. I'm tweeting almost every day. I love chatting about all kinds of things, geeky and toys especially. So yeah, and all your support is greatly appreciated. Subscribe, help us out, and I will in turn help you guys out. All for one, one for all. There's room at the top for everyone. Well, I'm John. I'm out of here. And always remember, it's probably a trap. That's a trap! May the force be with us.